What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, so uh, check this out. I just finished playing a quick session of Just Cause 2. Now, I made a video talking about how sometimes I feel like I'm addicted to video games, especially that one game that I always play, Apex Legends. But I told myself that I was going to force myself to play the single player games because those are actually the games that I, I really enjoy the most. Like when I actually look down and look back at whatever I played, those are the games that I really enjoy the most. But here's the deal. A long time ago, I did something that uh, I ended up regretting. Okay. And that was I played Grand Theft Auto 4 for the PS3 and I played it completely through. Okay. And I remember getting to a point in that game where I legitimately got tired of the game. Now, I know that game has amazing reviews. I know that game, everyone, a lot of people like that game. I think uh, the only Grand Theft Auto game that comes close to that is like San Andreas. People say San Andreas is really good. I haven't played San Andreas yet. I loved Vice City. That was that was probably like my favorite Grand Theft Auto game so far. But again, I haven't played San Andreas, and I barely played Grand Theft Auto V. But anyways, Grand Theft Auto IV was supposed to be amazing, and it it's a good game. It is a good game, but after a while, the missions just kept getting repetitive, and I don't know. But I still forced myself to play it because it was such a great game i wanted to make sure that i didn't miss anything right i didn't want i didn't want i wanted to make sure i didn't miss any like epic moment well i played through the entire game i beat the game and when i beat the game i felt unsatisfied i felt like the grind did not match the ending or the story as a whole so after that game i told myself that i would play a video game and by no means am I a completionist. I'm not a completionist. But I told myself I would play a video game as long as the game is still enticing me. Once I feel like I've gotten enough out of the game, even if I don't complete the game, I'm going to be done playing it. I'm just not going to play it anymore. Once I feel like the game has gotten repetitive, okay? Now, like I said, I'm not a completionist, but I'm not going to lie. I do like to play video games and play them to the end. Another example of this is, uh, so Grand Theft Auto 4 was probably like my last straw, but another example of this, and some of you guys are going to hate me for saying this, is God of War, right? So not the new God of War on the PS4. I haven't played it yet. I have it, but I just haven't played it yet. But God of War 1, 2, and 3, which were the ones that I played? Did I play the ones on the PSP? No, I did not. I, have, I had those as well. But God of War 1, 2, and 3, I played from beginning to end. And I remember in those games, at, at some point, it just gets too repetitive. It's too much square, square, triangle, too much grab. Like, you just get, at least for me, I just get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And the story is not enticing enough you know i think the first god of war was was enticing enough that i wanted to play it all the way through by god of war 2 um it was kind of enticing because now he's the god of war but then he loses his power when he's trying to get it back but by the middle of god of war 2 i was already tired i was already tired of playing that game then god of war 3 uh, because i beat god of war 2 I, I felt obligated to play god of war 3 i played that graphics wise it was is a beautiful game but again it was just really repetitive and t to me it just wasn't worth the, the hours to get that story like i couldn't even tell you exactly what happened at the end of god or how the story even goes you know all i know is god of war one it's a great story right this dude loses in battle so he prays to the god of war the god of war grants him that he's gonna make him the best freaking soldier or commander or whatever and one of the ways that he does it is he tricks him into killing his wife and his daughter so now he has nothing to live for but in turn that upsets him and now he wants to go ahead and kill the actual god of like that's that's legit that's the, that's a pretty good story so you know you get into it or whatever but then after that it's like okay what are we doing so he kills the gods and all this other stuff i don't know i don't know it just after that it didn't entice me that much so long story short um today i was playing just cause i'll put a little bit of a gameplay probably right here here 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's a good game. Like I, I enjoy the game, but I got to the point where I feel like, okay, now it's a repetitive grind. Like to get to the next miss- mission, you have to create enough chaos and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm flying a, a, a jet trying to destroy stuff to try to get more chaos, but the story in the game is really not even that good. So I enjoy the game. I would recommend the game, especially at the price that it is. If any of you haven't played Just Cause 2, go ahead and get it. But um, I'm just done playing it. And that's okay. I've come to terms with the fact that you don't have to complete the game. You don't have to beat the game in order to move on for it. So I played the game. I felt like I enjoyed the game. I don't want to keep on grinding through the game. I'm good. So the next game that I'm playing right now is Far Cry 2. Yes, you heard me right. Far Cry 2. It's an older game. Uh, But I played Far Cry 3 all the way through, and I enjoyed it. Uh, So I want to try Far Cry 2, see how I like it. And then I'll probably jump back to Far Cry 4, 5. I have those. Uh, Or I'll I'll jump into Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, because the last Assassin's Creed I played was Assassin's Creed 3. But anyway, guys, just just quick little rant talking to you guys about how I'm not a um what's the word? I'm not married to the idea that I have to complete a game to enjoy it anymore. So maybe that's what I'll call this video. Can you enjoy a game without completing it? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I know there's a lot of people out there that never complete a game. Like some of you guys are horrible. You guys don't complete anything, you know? And then there's some of you guys that are, are the extreme opposite. Some of you guys are completionists. Like when I look go on how long to beat a game and I see like main story, then main story with extra or whatever. And I'm like, who's doing the extra stuff? Like that's that's ridiculous. But some of you guys out there knocking that stuff out. So let me know what you guys think. Can you guys play a game, not finish it and move on? Are you OK with that? Or can do you guys have to complete the game? And if you feel the way I feel, like sometimes you want to finish the game just to see like if it's worth it, like uh, a game like Infamous, a game like Infamous, uh, if you've never played it on the PS3, like that's a game that the ending of the game gets really good. And then you have to play Infamous 2, like you just have to. And you play Infamous 2 and Infamous, the ending of Infamous 2 is really good as well. So those games I remember playing and enjoying them. But if I recall, like the grind on those games wasn't that bad. Like it was enough to make you want to keep going. It was just just long enough. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys complete games? Are you a completionist or are you just someone that can play the game until on, uh, until you're you're satisfied and that's it and you move on? or let me know what you guys do. Dog Dog 1 on 8-5. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.